Hey guys, Destruction Jacks here, back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to the EAFC Ultimate Team trailer, and uh, yeah, just everything that's really going on in Ultimate Team for EAFC this year. I'm really looking forward to this. It has been a while since I've done an upload with just a video like this, so yeah, sorry about that, but yeah. We are doing the video today, but we are going to be reacting to the EAFC trailer. I am looking forward to this. I've not seen anything that's happened yet, so let's get into it. Welcome back to our EA Sports FC 24 Deep Dive Series. I'm Lee Ravel, and I am here with two experts, Gene and Richard, from the development team. In the game, the game, the game what might good. be the biggest year in Ultimate Team. How are we doing, guys? Hey, Leah. Hello. There's so many new... Wait, that walkout animation is sick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this the walkout animation? And why are there two players? Hold on, I right, let's keep watching. ...things we have to talk through today. The ability to improve That's players cool. in our club with the brand new Ultimate Team Evolution, yeah, the inclusion of women's football, and play styles. Let's get straight into it. First up, we have to talk about Ultimate Team Evolutions. Are you telling me that I can finally improve players from my club? That's right. I will say, I think this evolution screen is actually really nice. Like, I do think it looks good. Like, it's, it's interesting because Makuku's gone from a gold card to, like, I don't know, it looks like some sort of, it's like an, oh, is it? No, I don't even know what card that is. It's, it's like an emerald color one, which is nice. If you look on the side, though, it says stuff like evolution, foundations, striker upgrade, uh, and the path to glory. So I wonder if that means what you can pick, what evolution you want or you can also pick look you can it's, it also says look uh, under upgrades plus one weak foot so that's interesting anyway let's keep watching that's right we've never had anything quite like this in ultimate team there's so much to love about what this unlocks for people's passions for players regardless of where they're at in their development richard you want to explain how this works yeah, so in Ultimate Team Evolutions, you're going to be able to pick your favorite players and upgrade them throughout the year. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is pick your favorite players, complete objectives with them, and then get their upgrades. For example, you complete 20 passes with them, get two assists, and that completes level one and earns you plus 10 short passing and also upgrades their weak foot. You'll also be able to level up the player's item so that your club favorites stand out when you load into... That card art is so clean. That's actually really clean. No, no, I honestly like, like, the, especially that Vincent company, the card art, beautiful. Do a match. Love that. Moving on to one of my favorite things that I'm so excited to talk about. Yeah, the ball this is, is interesting. To Ultimate Team. You got it. The Ultimate Team dream is obviously to assemble your favorite footballers from around the world into an Ultimate Eleven. This is the biggest addition of top tier players we've... Like, honestly... Whoever EA hired this year to make the card designs, great job. Look how clean that hero card looks. That's beautiful, man. Ever introduced into the game at one time. It's called Ultimate Team. If you're not able to play with your favorite players, it's not really your Ultimate Team. So this year, with the introduction of more leagues and with evolutions especially, you're going to be able to make your Ultimate Team and it's not going to look like anybody else's. Love it. So, new players, some new leagues. With the introduction of women's football, how will chemistry work putting all of these new players into my ultimate oh, yeah, team? Well, chemistry will remain the same. For example, Sam Kerr will link to WSL players, her fellow Australians, and is going to link up with Chelsea players. Oh, so in Sam Kerr's no, case, no, okay, no. So this is good, which means Sam Kerr's going to link to, like, Reese James, for example. But she's not going to link to, like, Van Dyke because there's no, like, she doesn't get Premier League chemistry. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Honestly, I think this is a good idea. She'll link to Lauren James and Reese James. I love that. And what about heroes and icons? Can you tell the people if we expect any new ones? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be able to reach back. No, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to keep pausing it, but that you cannot tell me that that is not the cleanest card art you have ever seen. That's so nice. To the history books to play with some of the greatest players from the past, but... We know that the community has been wanting a change when it comes to icon chemistry. Ooh, so when you have an icon in Hang your on. team, what? they're gonna apply a plus one league link to anybody in your squad. So that just opens up. EA, I don't know. You are listening to the community. Thank you, EA. This is what we want. Icon chemistry is now gonna be easier to link into your teams. Beautiful. More squad building opportunities and more ways for you to make your team. Will these new players pop into packs like everyone else? Yes, indeed. 
Every player That's in so Ultimate cute. Team will share the same packs, the same pitch, and will be included in promos throughout the year. Whoa, that's Speaking of packs, sick. something I'm really excited about. This year we have new sets, we have new animations, including my personal favorite, a two-player walkout. No, wait. Is that the thing that showed at the start with Sun and Hull? A two-player, hang on. A two-player, is that actually... Wait, hang on, I gotta hit one. So if you pack two really great players, they're both gonna walk out at the same time. No, EA. No, awesome. EA, this is such a good well, idea. Well, I'm starting to put things together this five so new leagues, thanks to women's football, plus nice. heroes and icons, and then players that I decide... Like, even the icon card art, it looks so good as well. Like, I'll just thanks go back to Thanks to women's to football, plus heroes and icons. Yeah, like, look at the icon card art. That's so clean. I love that. And then, players that I decide to improve via Ultimate Team Evolutions. Every squad is going to be so versatile, so different. I love that. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Each of these new features should unlock a world of new squad building opportunities. Your club should feel personal and unique. So, this is a great year for you to make your Ultimate Team truly yours. I have to mention this new item design because we haven't talked about it yet. And that's something that stood out to me right away. It's a big change, you're right. Redesigning the items was a chance to bring your favorite footballers into focus and helps you understand them at a glance. The new layout makes room for bigger images, more key information than ever before, like lead crest for chemistry and even animated backgrounds. And you'll notice new information as well. So those play styles oh, so plus that you see thing. on the left side of the item, these essentially will let you know what makes that player special on the pitch and how to get the most out of them in the game. Yes, yes. I was actually watching this in the gameplay deep dive the other day, and those sound amazing. Are playstyles a big part of the gameplay dynamic in Ultimate Team? Absolutely. That's They're a feature cute. that takes gameplay oh, what the, beyond that was overall so ratings. Playstyles and Playstyles Plus are how we're bringing those signature abilities to life, so that players are more unique cool. and say. play more like their real, real world selves. Yeah, Playstyles Plus especially are something to look out for. These signature abilities that are unique to world-class athletes oh, are reserved yeah. only for the best Beautiful. players. You'll notice that's the difference really awesome. playing Beautiful. with players that's that have the them. Yeah, they're school. a great way to understand and get the best out of the players on the pitch, and a great way to know how to build a squad that has complementary skills Beautiful. and strengths. I love it. Let's talk a little bit about objectives. Yeah, Please. well, we've been working hard to give you more focus more. and direction when you load up Ultimate Team. With the new objectives menu, it's one? easier to understand what to play for and get back to the action. There's also new navigation and a new quick switcher to cycle between modes so you can go straight from your squad That's to rivals. That's cool. No, 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 no. This is actually really cool. The fact that you can switch between modes, that is really cool. Um, SBCs to the transfer market. And there's another thing. Claim all. You'll finally no, be able no, to gather honestly, all your rewards amazing. from one no, group together once. Yes, yes, I know how They're much the community have been asking for that one, myself included. Awesome. Are there any other changes that we can tell them about? Well, I mean, we've also made a little tweak to how players change position. Anyone with a secondary position will automatically switch to that new position, so you'll no longer need to get position modifiers and keep toggling yes. your yeah, players no, back idea. and forth That's in different a really roles. Good idea. And this change will make SPCs a lot more seamless, yeah. and you'll finally be able to use a player's secondary position in draft and get them some chemistry. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Well, you guys, thank you so, so, so much. It's been a pleasure so, yeah. to yeah. talk through Ultimate Team with the both of you. It feels honestly like a whole new game mode, Ultimate Team Evolution, women's football, play styles. I cannot wait to get started. Thanks for chatting with us. Yeah, thanks for having us, Leah. This has been me, Leah Ravel, signing off, and we will see you back for more deep dives. Welcome to the club. Okay, quick summary of this. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is awesome. I'm definitely pre-ordering this game. I actually love the look of this. Um, I'm honestly very like excited for this overall. I think this is going to be good. My camera's glitching. I don't know why. I think it's going to be good, though. Don't, don't worry about my camera. I think it's going to be very good. Um, yeah, look. I've also saw something that squad battles are now going to be four minute half six, instead of six, and that's better. And also, SBC loan cards won't pop up. So, yeah, that's good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you're hyped for AFC. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.